Hello again! Today we are talking once more about curling hair in a vintage style. This video is sort of a successor to my wet set versus foam set video. I was chatting with some folks in my Discord, link in the description if you want to join, and we were discussing the differences of setting your hair with pillow rollers versus setting with foam rollers, and I kind of haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. I'm somebody who really loves a side-by-side -side comparison. You can really see and experience the differences in real time and be able to make Make more informed choices about your vintage styling in the future. So that is what we're going to do today, setting one side as pillow rollers and one side with foam rollers. Similarly to last time, I'm going to set each side one at a time, and I am going to start with pillow rollers first. I am just going to do a wet set today, and I must say that ever since that video, I've been leaning towards the wet set like so much more. I got my misty bottle filled with water. Okay, so let's get started. I'm very excited to see how this turns out, not just because I'm very interested in the comparison, but this will also be my first time curling my hair since I got a trim. So I'm very excited to see how it turns out. If you have thick hair like me, this is like the maximum amount of hair that I will put in a curl. Anything more than this won't really dry. A big thing for me, and I think it's why I lean on pillow rollers so much more, is that pillow rollers are so much more comfortable to sleep in. So I am being very tactful tonight. I mostly sleep on the right side of my head, so the right side is getting the pillow rollers. And now it is time to get to the foam rollers. Once again, start with my bangs so they are out of my face. Okay, so technique for foam rollers versus pillow rollers, exactly the same. Put it in the lower part of the hair, wrap the end around, and roll it up nice and tight clip it in place. Now, I know some people find that this will leave an indent and sometimes, sometimes it does. I like to pull it forward just a little bit, but it takes the pressure off the top just that little bit and there is less indentation. Now I find with foam rollers, you can take a little bit wider of a section. I definitely use less foam rollers than I do pillow rollers. Now, when getting a set of foam rollers, I definitely recommend going to a local beauty supply, someplace where you can actually see the product in stock. My main set I got from Sally's Beauty Supply when I was 10 years old. They're really sturdy and robust. I did have to replace the foam part of it over the years. And when I went to go top up, I just bought a cheap set off of Amazon so I could take the foam part from some of them. And these are so, flimsy, they come out while you're putting them in. I hate them. You can see this one, which is from my old set, is much more robust. So word of warning, don't always buy the cheapest, the cheapest thing. So we are all set. The sets already look different. Oh wait, one final spritz. And yeah, I'm so excited to see how these truly compare and differ when they are already in the morning. So I'll see you then. 
Good morning. All right, let's take off this, uh, this bandana. Some of the foam rollers have twisted a bit in the night. Let's take them out. We'll start with the pillow rollers first. I love pillow rollers because of just how easy they are to take out. Well, it doesn't look like much to begin with. Let's do the other side. Okay, so initial reactions. The pillow rollers are definitely a little bit tighter of a curl, but the foam rollers look like they know what they're doing a little bit more. It's a little bit more ready for styling than this side, which might take a little bit more finagling. Do you ever have those moments where you're not sure if something is wet or cold? I am going to go in with a diffuser just to get any parts that might still be just a little bit damp. And I will take this off. So editing cylinder does not hate me. Interestingly, now that they've settled a little bit more, the pillow roller side is a lot more relaxed than the foam set side. Let's go in and break them up with our hands. Because this side was set in bigger chunks, it is a bit easier to break apart. Okay, after breaking up with your hands, it just really feels like the foam roller side knows what it's doing. Time to brush them through a little bit more with a fine comb. And this will just make them easier to brush out with the big brush. Curl sets are definitely a trust the process <laughs> type of activity. We have one final brush step before these are all set, and that is to go in with my big paddle brush and shape them into a vintage style. And this is where doing the steps of breaking them up with your fingers and brushing through them with a fine comb will make this step so much easier. Come, dear Jane, now let's get together. And don't you love that night from the river? So let's go to that beautiful sea. I would suggest to you I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> I definitely have two very different hairstyles going on right now, and I'm pretty amazed about what the difference just using a different type of curler makes. Because I set these in the same exact way at the same time under the same conditions, and I, I've got two different looks. And I must say, I'm pretty surprised at the outcome. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Were you surprised by the results? Which side is your favorite? Uh, it's really hard for me to pick a favorite. I like both of these vibes for different reasons. But I must say, I... I love short curly hair, so I think maybe the foam rollers are going to be broken out just a little bit more in the coming in the coming weeks. <laughs> but I honestly really like them both, and doing this kind of thing is so fun, and I'm so glad that I did it. Next week there will be no new video, as I'm taking a week to creatively reset. I'm also getting a tattoo which I'm excited but nervous about, and just give myself the time and the space to plan for the weeks ahead. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!
is rich. And mine is rich. So now what do we care? I love to be beside your side. Beside the sea. Beside the sea. By the beautiful sea. By the 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 sea. By